It's live coverage of the NBA on Monday night. Thank you for joining us here on 2K Sports. Kevin Harlan here with Steve Kerr, Clark Kellogg, and Doris Burke. The fans are making noise at Quicken Loans Arena here in Cleveland for their Cavaliers. So Cleveland will get the first possession. The starters for the Portland Trailblazers. Lillard at the point with C.J. McCollum playing the two. Al Farouk Amino is out there with Van. And it's Nurkic in at the five down low. Now here's Calderon. Tack to LeBron. Six to shoot. Money from the wing. James has got the first points up on the board here for the Cavs. That's just run of the mill for him. Typical day at the office. He's one of the more skilled offensive players out there. You know, last season the Blazers were able to get 23 wins on the road. That's better than 500. An excellent mark for them and a big part of why they grabbed the fifth seed in the Western Conference. And here's Smith. That's in and out. Doris Burton caught up with head coach Jerry Stotts. DB? Of course, the conversation veered to the challenge of defending LeBron James. And he said, there's not a lot of good options with him. He can really do it all. I think you just have to try and stay in front of him. And if he gets in close, you have to bring help. And guys, we've seen LeBron really force the issue as far as getting into the lane. We'll see how they do. And thanks for that story, Doris. Calderon kicks to LeBron, and it is flushed down with a nice jam. That's the kind of lead pass we've seen him make over and over again. And it's the Trailblazers with the ball. Four-point game. Lillard attacking. Good. And the layup just gift-wrapped right there. I mean, he had a clear path to the basket. And so just over a minute and a half played. against Calderon. LeBron outside. Dishes it to Love. Shot clock at six. And Cleveland again with the bucket. The Trailblazers have gone one of three for the field to start this one so far. And a foul on the shot. He'll go to the strike for two. C.J. McCollum taking tenth last season out of Lehigh, and much like Damian Lillard, Clark, a four-year guard from a mid-major school. Yeah, and I like him a lot. Watched him his junior year up close, and you know both of those guys were big-time scores at the collegiate level. Um, similar in size, and also um, attitude, very confident but understated. And they both have terrific three-point laser shot. And I know with one of your boys playing mid-major college basketball, you've got a great appreciation for what the talent level is at that level. Exactly, and how guys can develop over the course of a four-year career. And that's good as he hits both of his shots. And McCollum dealing with a foot issue over the last couple of years. Broke a bone in his foot during his senior year at Lehigh. And again in his rookie season, missing the first two months. So hopefully that's a thing of the past. Calderon passes to James. Oh, look out. Oh, 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 oh. It's not possible what we just thought. Is that not is probable, it? but it is possible, partner. It's it possible. possible. Not Holy probable. It, it is possible. I don't know what all that meant, but you're right, Clark. That's good. Lillard's got his second basket of the night. And McCollum, a polished scorer from his four years at Lehigh, averaged over 20 points a game for his career. He has the opportunity, I think, to really solidify the guard rotation important as a combo guard who can play either the one or the two. Here is Love, following the score by Damian Lillard. Got him with the pump fake, savvy move right there. Five of five to start the game, and it might be the second quarter before they miss the way they're knocking these shots down. Boy, everything's pure. 11 feet away, and he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. That's on LeBron James. You can argue that Damian Lillard made another leap as a player last year, building off of his great rookie of the year camp and taking it another notch higher. That free throw, no good. And Lillard last season between his improvement beyond the arc and 
from the line becoming even more Steve efficient as a score. Yeah, well, he upped his rate of scoring and rebounding. He cut his turnovers down. He improved defensively. Uh, you know, Lillard is not one to rest on his laurels. He is motivated to continue improving year in and year out. Good on the second free throw. Damian Lillard off to a great start to his NBA career. Year one, he was the fourth ever unanimous rookie of the year. And then year two, his first all-star appearance. Now here's James. He's got six. Calderon for three. It's rebounded by Von. Trailblazers trail by three. Here's Aminu. It's hauled in by Jose Calderon. And Damian Lillard last season, the first play in NBA history to compete in all five major All-Star events. Well, let's count them off right now, partner. He did the Rising Stars Challenge, the Skills Event, three-point shootout, the dunk contest, and he played in the big game on Sunday. It's a busy weekend. That's a full weekend, and the young fellow handled himself well in all five of them. Now here's LeBron. From deep three-point range, can't get it to go. Now here's McCollum. James covering. McCollum dishes to Vonley. And some nice ball movement here by the Trailblazers. Here's McCollum, covered by LeBron. Just five on the clock. Shoots from the line, and the basket by McCollum. Had a really great start for him as he just isn't shooting the ball that effectively here early on. Timeout is called. First of the game for the Cavaliers. A platoon swap here for Cleveland. An almost entirely new group here for Portland. Myers Leonard, he's checked in for Nurkic. Harkless comes in for Vonley. Turner's checked in for C.J. McCollum. And it's Napier in for Damian Lillard. 137 left in the first quarter. Cleveland didn't quite meet their expectations last year, in part by how poor they shot at home. Hard to get wins when everything you put up seems to rim out. Wade drives in. Shoots over Turner. Here's Thompson. And he was fouled on the way up. Two free throws now for him. Nice work to get inside and draw the foul. Yeah, it's obvious. The defense not going to allow many easy layups. It's going to make you earn it from the line. It can be doubly defeating, Clark, with the missed shots here at home. Not only are you not scoring, but then the crowd loses interest. They get out. That's a great point. I mean, one of the benefits of being at home is having your crowd there energized and pulling for you. And if you're not making shots, they tend to sit on their hands. Good on both. Tristan Thompson, a really nice hustle player and defender. Chance to be a double-double guy. But, you know, as a former number four pick overall, I think expectations were probably a little too high for him. But he's turned into a, a very solid NBA player. Here's Napier. Here's Harkless. And he throws it down hard with one hand. Boy, a pick was set at the perfect angle on the floor, and he used it nicely. Well, that's a play we may see from them a few more times. Why not? I mean, when it works, you go back to it. Make them stop you. Now, here's Wayne. Passes to Corp. On deep. That falls. Nice feed that time from Dwayne Wade. Corver's got it.